everyone and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a really super awesome, fantastic type of day today. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup where sometimes we're a little glowy and sometimes we're a little hoey. Hey! <laughs> We welcome you here on my channel because when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you because this is your channel as much as my channel. So with that said, you know, well, come on in with welcome arms and, you know, pull up a chair, you know, grab you a little snack, a little cup of cuppa, a little something to drink because today we're going to be talking about our 10 most purchased luxury items um, that we repurchased over and over again. And this is the tag with the lovely and beautiful Sophia C. Beauty as well as the beautiful Allison Chase and um, and I think Miss Charlotte Hawcroft was also tagged on that. I'm going to leave all those lovely ladies down in the box. So if you haven't checked out their channels, you should definitely do that because they are all amazing. With that said, um, if you guys are interested and you want to see what my top 10 of most luxury repurchased items are, then stick around and let's find out together. So again, before we get started, I just want to thank these lovely ladies for tagging me on this, especially Sophia C. Beauty. I just love her. She's just so awesome. We talk all the time on Instagram and she is beautiful and you definitely can check out her channel. Um, she's really great. She does a lot of luxury makeup and I will also leave the other ladies, like I said, down below in the description box as well. Um, most of my stuff is mostly complexion, um, stuff that I've repurchased through um, complexion. I don't do a lot of, like I've just started into eyeshadows and and a lot of that kind of stuff. So, and I have so much of it that I don't even get to really use a lot of most of the time because I don't do that on a daily basis. But, um, but these are some of the ones that I've repurchased over and over again. And, um, and so, yeah, so let's get started. So I think I want to talk about this first one. Um, this is also a favorite of Michelle Wong as well. Um, I know that she really loves this product. I don't see anybody else really talking about this product a lot, but this is the Victoria Beckham. It's the Rejuvenating Skin Priming um, Moisturizer. This product is so beautiful. I've had this one. This is my third one. Um, and I've also had the golden one. And I finally ran out of the golden one. And this is, and I finally just ran out of this one too. There's nothing left in this one. And this one's my third one. This is the large size. And also, there's a smaller size in this one. This product is so beautiful. It goes onto the skin really beautiful. It hydrates the skin, but it does it in a very lightweight way. And I'm very dry. So, I really, I didn't think that this product was ever going to do anything for me. I thought it was going to be too lightweight. But I absolutely love it. And it does make a difference. I feel like it's got these little golden flecks in it that just make the skin look really radiant. And it looks really beautiful. Um, but without feeling really greasy or really heavy. Um, so, if you're even an oily skin person, a dry person, a combination person, you would really enjoy this moisturizer. Again, it's vegan. It's um, cruelty-free, um, you know, because Victoria, there's no fragrance to it. Um, it is just a really overall, really beautiful packaging. is gorgeous. I mean, if you have any Victoria Beckham, you know that her stuff is amazing. So, I definitely would give this a check out if you haven't. I mean, it's a little pricey on the pricey side, but it does last a really, really long time. This one's lasted me, I think, almost a year. And I use it quite often. So, um, it is definitely worth a check out. So, um, that's my first one. Um, so next up, and I want to say, I don't remember what, I can't remember exactly which one Sophia, but some of our stuff is very similar. So there's a lot of favorites that she liked that I like too. But the next one that I wanted to talk about was the Hollywood Flawless Filter. As you can see, all of my print is called, you barely see the Charlotte Tilbury. You can see how much I've used this one. This one is in the shade, I, this one's shade five and I also have it in the shade four. This stuff is just magic on the skin. Absolutely magic. So beautiful. Great by itself. I wear this so much alone without anything over it. Um, it works great under uh, something, over top of something. It is just great. If you guys have not got on the bandwagon with this product, it definitely is something you should check out. It lasts forever because it comes in. It's got a great big dud fit on it. Um, it just makes your skin look really, really beautiful. It gives it this really beautiful glow to the skin, but it does it in a subtle way. It doesn't do it in this over metallic kind of way. It just makes it, and it makes your skin look so, the longer it sits on your skin, the more it blurs. It's just an amazing product, but I've then been through, I've probably been through three of these already, and I just absolutely love it. And you know, one I have 
had to actually throw it because it just it had gotten just too old. Like I just I'd, I'd used it for so long because it takes you forever to use it. I mean, you have to really. I used it a lot, but you just you just can. It just takes you a long time to use them because they're so big and it just takes a while. They also come in minis as well, and they carry these and support. And on the Charlotte Tilbury website, um, which I will leave down link down below. But it's just a really awesome product. So this is another one of my top uh, top ones. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the um, is the Dior Air Flash. This one I've been using probably since two thousand and nine, I believe two thousand, maybe even before that. It might even been before that. I think I was using it, but I really love this product. This product is amazing. I remember when it only had four shades, and I remember there were two in a spray. It was actually uh, it was like a, a tan one. They had they had this uh, the bronze ones too in these, uh, but there was only like one hundred. 200, 300, and 400. There wasn't very many because I think Dior originally started this off to be just part of the Dior show line um, and they just was gonna, it was a temporary thing. They did it for a trendy thing because it was the airbrush was the great big thing at the moment um, and then it's just really sparked over here in the United States. I don't think they sell a lot of this overseas. Um, I think they sell, the reason why Dior kept it was because it sold so well that they just decided to make more shades out of it. It just did really, really well here for them. So, um, it's just an amazing product. It's transfer resistant, basically waterproof, 12 hour wear. It gives a beautiful radiant to this beautiful satin finish on the skin. You, I don't really use it with, I spray it on the back of my hand and I apply it with a brush and then put it on. And I mix sometimes with a little bit of a highlighter or oil if I want to give a little bit more to it. But it is just a super, super awesome product. So if you've never tried out the Air Flash, and it is, it's it's like a 60, $65 bottle, but I mean, you know, but you only need a little bit of it because it gives a really nice coverage. You can also use it on places on the body. You can use it on the legs. I know people that get it just to sprayed on their legs just to make their legs look great, um, you know, or to give that really beautiful airbrush look on their skin or their chest. Um, just don't wear it with white. I wouldn't wear it with white. Even though I know there's transfer reasons or whatever, I would not wear it with white. But it is just a really good product, overall product. And this is definitely one that I bought at least a, many, many, many times over. Um, so this is one of my, it's definitely one of my top faves. Another product that I bought many of, and this is my second bottle of this one. This is the Lisa Eldridge, the Seamless um, Elevated Glow. Um, this is in the shade Solar Light. I love this product. I douse my face in this product. I use this all over my face as a primer. Um, I love it because it makes your skin look so juicy. It makes it look so radiant. It makes it look so healthy. It's just such a beautiful product, guys. I can't tell you enough. Um, if you are looking for something juicy and you've always wanted a really beautiful primer that gives your skin this beautiful glow, it looks great without makeup, it looks great with makeup, it looks over, great over top of makeup, it looks great as a highlight, it looks great anywhere. I mean, it's just a super, super awesome product. I used it so much when she came out with it last year that um, a, bo a bottle that lasted me a year, I just got this one, um, but I just love it. It just makes your skin look so radiant, but it kind of plumps the skin. It plumps it and makes it look really just youthful and very radiant. I mean, more than just radiant. It makes it just look it just gives you like this real, I'm going to say a facelift, but it just makes your skin look so gorgeous. Um, so this is definitely one that I recommend to anyone that is looking for a really juicy, beautiful product. And again, I use this all over my face. I don't use it just as a highlighter. I put it underneath. When I use my Lisa Eldridge, uh, my uh, foundation, I put this underneath and then I do the foundation and then I put more over top um, to give it this really beautiful, juicy look. And everybody's all like, what do you have? on your skin looks so great and this is it this is the little magic bottle right here it's super super awesome i mean if this and charlotte tilbury are similar this one's just more wet this one's more wet this one's more it dries down a little more this one's a little more juicy but, but they're both really beautiful but this is a great product too um and then while we're talking of uh juiciness Let's talk a little bit about um, the Juicy Tube by Lancome. So the, this one is Miracle um, by Lancome and the Juicy Tube. I just got to grab this one because I have so many of them. But this is some of my most favorite lip glosses. I love these because they just moisturize your lips. They feel really good. It's a really thicker gloss, so it stays on. But it just feels very balmy almost. But it's a gloss, but it's really shiny. It gives you like a little itty bitty bit of color. Even the most dramatic 
dramatic colors in the GT2 blind. They're very sheer. They're all really, really sheer. They're just really great. They smell good. They taste good. They're very nostalgic. They're very 1999. I've been with Lancome for a very long time. I've been with them since 1996. And um, they came out with these with Fred Ferrugia in the Pollen Collection in 1999. I remember when we actually launched these, or actually it was the year 2000, sorry, spring of 2000. And I remember when there was only, there was three of these and they were like, I think they were like maybe $12, I think when they originally came out. Now they're 20. Um, but they're just so nostalgic. I just love these. I never can get enough of these. Um, they used to be a little bit more pigmented at one point, um, but now they're more, they're all definitely sheer, but they all have this really beautiful smell to them. They're just very, they're awesome. If you've never tried these and you want a really beautiful, thick gloss that lasts a good while but moisturizes your lips, this is definitely one of those things that you should try. And speaking of lips, another thing, and I think I want to say that um, Sophia actually had talked about this one, um, but this is the Lip Glow in the Dior. This is the Color Reviver Balm. I have this in the shade 1001, and then I have like, I have like a couple. I have like a few of them, actually. Um, this balm is so cool, and I'm showing this in in store it like I show it because it's really cool because it goes on like it's going to go on clear but what it does is eventually it starts to change with your own natural pH in your lips and it starts to turn that color so if you pick out like cherry for example if you pick it out as you know on, on a friend it might look really light and then on, an, on another friend it may look really bright it just depends on your pH balance and what it brings out through your lips or how much pigment you have in your lips but um, they're just wonderful they're juicy they're very balmy they're not too over hydrating, but yet they're not too greasy. They don't, they're not, they don't slip and slide, but they leave a really beautiful color on the lips. They're just great. I really recommend these for guys too, if they want just this really, like a little bit of color on the lip, but they don't like to wear lipstick or anything, but they want a bomb. These are really great. Just like the Juicy Tube, they are great too for that as well. It's just an amazing lip balm altogether. Just really, really great. So I think now I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at six. And I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got I've got twelve. So I've twelve instead of ten. So I'm sorry. You know, I have to be a little extra here. I've got to, I have to be a little extra. It's just the way I am. Um so the next thing that I've repurchased in luxury item is um Huda Beauty. Um and this is a legit lash. This is my third tube of this mascara. This mascara is just amazing. It has two sides. It has one side for volume volume and it has one side for um one side for the length um it's just amazing uh, curl definition thickness it is just a dream mascara. Um, I just really love this. Now, I do have a lot more mascaras now, so I don't reach for this one as much as I did, but I did at one point. This one was the one that I used all the time, and it was the only one that I used. They stay on really well. It doesn't come off. It doesn't transfer. Um, it doesn't flake. It doesn't look crappy. I will say, though, it does give a major full thick lash. So if you are not really someone that likes a lot of heavier mascara or you don't like a really thick, voluminous, over-the-top mascara, this would not be for you. Um, but this, if you are a drama person and you love drama mascara, this one's definitely worth one checking out. I really enjoy this. Again, this is my third tube. So, um, I really love this one. So, this one's definitely a keeper and I would definitely repurchase it over again. So, next up, I have um, two concealers. Um, one that I bought many times over and this is actually my third tube and I actually have it in a darker and a lighter shade. And this is my Tarte Creaseless um, Concealer. There are so many people that do not like this concealer for some reason because the reason why is it is a very dewy, dewy concealer. It doesn't really ever set down. Um, it really kind of leaves a little bit of a tap, but it leaves a super radiance on the under eye. Even sometimes, even if you powder it, it doesn't really set down very well, which I think a lot of people don't like that. I love it because if they discontinue this one, I'm going to die because it is so, it's probably my holy grail concealer. It really makes your under eye look so bright and so youthful and so lifted. And I mean, you know, and it will, it will crease a little bit. You have to keep it because it's so hydrating, but it is just, but you, once you kind of like pat it out a little bit, it will, it just, cause I use just a little bit of it cause it's just a little bit. Now this is the lighter one. It's not my 
you know, but it's just like so radiant and so glowy and so full coverage. It's just a dream concealer. It's just really beautiful. It's It doesn't make you look older or it just gives you this beautiful radiance. I mix it with everything. So if I have a matte concealer, I will mix a little bit of this one with it. So if the concealer's a little darker, I will actually mix it with more of a, with the lighter one. Or if I use that one, the darker one, then I will mix more of a lighter one with it. So I just love the mix concealers. And this is one of the top ones that I mix with uh, usually on a daily basis. So I absolutely love it. It's so good. Good. And then um, my other one is the uh, my number one concealer of last year, and it was the Chanel Rose Corrector. Um, and it is the Le Corrector de Chanel, but it is in a rose. And it is a beautiful brightening concealer. And I got hooked on this because of Erin Nicole TV. Um, I saw her because she is the Chanel guru. And if you guys have never checked her out, I will leave her channel down below with along with the other ones so you guys can check her out. But she's absolutely stunning. And, um, and she loves Chanel because she used to work for Chanel. Um, so she's the big Chanel guru here on YouTube. So if there's anything about Chanel that you want to know about, Erin would know about it, um, but uh, she turned me on to this. She was using it, and I was like, what is that? And I was like, you know, and she looks so beautiful with it on, using it as a brightening concealer, that I was like, you know what, that would be really cool. So, what I do is I mix this with darker shades, and it absolutely looks gorgeous with everything. So, it doesn't matter what concealer you mix it with, it looks gorgeous. So if you're looking for something to brighten up your concealer or to make it look a little bit better, I would definitely recommend this because this would be a really good one. You can mix it with any concealer you have, and it'll basically just brighten it up a little bit. It gives the skin this really beautiful, it's got a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. Even if you're a little bit more on the darker skin side, you only need a little dot of it, but mix it with a con another concealer or add a little dot somewhere you want to brighten and especially with the pink trend going on TikTok, you know, with everybody doing a little bit of pink powder or pink concealer or whatever underneath it, this is a good trick for that because it does do that. Um, it does brighten. It does give that beautiful look to the under eye. I would definitely give it a check out because um, I just absolutely love it and it's been my, this is my third tube, so I'm going my third one. So, yeah, I use that one quite a bit. So, um, we have three more products to go. Um, and so, um, my next one is the, um, the Huda Beauty. This is the Fox Filter, um, Luminous Matte, um, uh, foundation. This is the Holy Grail foundation for me. Um, I have this one in the shade. This is the 335B. This is the newer formula. I did have two of the other bottles that, um, I've used up. So, this is my third bottle. Um, but this is more of the newer one. I do have so many foundations now that I don't, that was before... I actually um, started a YouTube channel, um, but when she reached, formulated it, um, I got it because I like the reformulation actually even better than the original. Um, but this is just a beautiful all day wear. It stays on all day. It gives a beautiful finish on the skin. Um, it is a luminous, when it says luminous matte, it means it's a little bit more of almost like a satin, but it's a little bit more on the, it's still a little bit more on the matter side. So what I will do is I'm gonna manipulate it a little bit like I do my Lisa Eldridge and I would mix something like the solar light with it to give it a little bit more glow to it but it is just absolutely beautiful on the skin it's just one of those foundations that i've really really enjoyed it is a full coverage so if you are not looking for full coverage if this is if you're not into fuller coverage makeup this is, will not be for you if you are more of a higher um, medium coverage this wouldn't be for you i just love this product this is a great product i mean as far as i'm concerned huda can do no wrong i love her stick one as well um you know it's a really great I have it on now um it's just a really beautiful foundation i just really enjoy it i mean i just picked up the new concealer with it and i'm really enjoying it too so far so i mean you know, it's just a holy grail to me so this is always one of those some of like some people would double wear this is kind of like my double wear for me so it's just it's my kind of like my two cent so, and then the next one is the um ysl all hours foundation um and this one is being reformulated i think and they're getting ready to come out with a newer um version i think they just they're repackaging it and they're actually doing some things to it making it a little cleaner um i this is my third bottle of this and i absolutely love it i will mix this one with a dewy foundation i never use it on its own because it's a little too matte on its own but first of all i love I love the way YSL foundations smell. I love the way they smell. I love the way they feel. They're just beautiful foundations. Um, 
which is no surprise because they're owned by L'Oreal and, you know, everything L'Oreal comes up with, I usually really enjoy. But it stays on so well. And if you want to just make your foundation, like if you have this really beautiful dewy makeup, but you want it to last a little bit longer, take a drop of one of, of this. And I mean, and I have this one in the shade Amber 60. And it just makes your skin look absolutely dreamy. It just makes it look so pretty. It's so smooth. It just, oh my God, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely absolutely stunning and it's the best makeup for the summer if you're looking for really good summer makeup this one and this one it just would just be great like if you wanted to take a pump of this and mix it with the dior oh my god talk about a winning combination it would be absolutely glorious together because they're just really beautiful um if i'm not mistaken i think this one is oil free it does have a 20 in it right now i don't know what the new one's going to be like because i think the new bottle is not going to have this on it i've seen the the update um i don't know when it's coming though um it's it's just going to be in the newer packaging. I think in Europe, they already have the newer packaging on this. Um, but it's going to be very interesting when it does come out because I think it's going to be reformulated. So that'll probably be during fall to so keep your eyes out for that. So that'll probably be a newer formulation. A lot of people probably be checking out the new formula. And then, um, you know, sorry that mine was 12 guys and not 10. Um, sorry, Sophia, I, I kind of overjumped a little bit, but I just had some really good ones I just started to throw out. And I think this one, I think Sophia, she also loved as well. And this was one of her favorites too. And I've also, I've seen a lot of people that this is one of their favorites. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Sh Air Setting Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is a holy grail of setting sprays. I can I tell you, dry, oily, whatever you may be, it's like, this is the best setting spray. It is so good. It does, it, to me, it does leave a little bit of a glow, but I mean, I've seen some oily people that, you know, it, they, they just love it too. They think it's amazing. It just, it feels so good on the skin and it makes your skin look beautiful. It makes your makeup look amazing. Um, I have been through two smalls of these, two big ones of these, and this is my third bottle. I've been through them so much. I just absolutely love this. this. is one of my favorite products. This is this and Magic Cream and Charlotte Tilbury are some of my favorite, my two top favorites in Charlotte Tilbury probably. This product is a must-have if you're looking for a good setting spray and you want something, um, especially if you're a little bit more mature or if you're somebody that, um, that doesn't that want their makeup to last, but they don't want to look crepey or they don't want it to be too matte or they don't want it to be too hairsprayish. Um, you know, this would definitely be one to check out because it's just very soft. It makes your skin look beautiful. It makes it look really radiant. It makes it look really healthy and it just, and it makes your makeup last all day. Um, you know, and I think it's like, I think it's like 35 or something like that for a bottle of it. And then they have a smaller travel size. They're always out of it. It's just, it's just a great holy grail product. And with that said, guys, that is it. That is my little, um, my little repurchased items, luxury items. Um, I have so many more, but most of it is skincare. Um, I didn't have as many repurchased in makeup because, again, I just started my collection like a year ago. So, all of this stuff that a lot of the stuff that I have now is very new to me. I'm still getting used to makeup because I didn't have a lot of my collection when I first started, which sounds really weird being a makeup artist. But as a makeup artist, you have to also get rid of stuff because stuff gets really old. And then, um, you know, when you have cases of stuff, you know, your um, companies and stuff, they actually own the cases you don't. Um, so with that said, um, I just started all over again. So I'm just still, I'm building my collection and I've actually, I'm, you know, it's, and I have a very small space, so I can't keep a lot anyway. So I have to keep things circulated. Um, but with that said, guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me. If you have so far, you know, why don't you stick around? Why don't you just go ahead and subscribe to my channel? which is really your channel. It's more than mine. Um, you know, I would love to have you. We would love to have you because we're here on my channel. We're a little family and we get along really well together and we, um, everybody is just wonderful to each other. There's a lot of love on this channel and I really do appreciate that. I'm very blessed for that. So if you would love to, we would love to have you join our family. Um, you know, but if not, you know, that's great. I'm just glad that you stuck around. If you stuck around this long and if you didn't like the video, I'm so sorry, but you know what? It's okay. We get it. Um, you know, things happen. It's just, you know, I'm, it's, it's, you know, we just move on. <laughs> so anyway, with that said, guys, please be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. Um, and also be, remember to be kind to somebody because a little kindness can go off a long way. And, um, 
you know, a smile sometimes can make a really big difference to somebody. I mean, and any little thing can make somebody's day. And um, with that said, guys, take care. Have a good rest of your day. And we will see you again in the next episode. Bye.